bit of a car swap around today, my lovelies. Uh, I have put the Honourable Shison in the pits here, and I've done that um, so that I can go to work in him tonight. Sorry, I can go to work in them tonight. Shison is the world's first, and I believe only, non-binary Rover 25, and I very frequently forget how to refer to them correctly. They, them, theirs. It's not difficult, but apparently it is for me. Nice blue skies. Oh, let's just have a look at a uh, quick peek at the old guarding. Look at these, my lovelies. My dafts are never here for St. David today, and I don't suppose they will be this year. But they're on their way, and better late than never. So yeah, I've put sheets in here so I can use them for work tonight. Nice and convenient. I'm, al I'm always in a rush on a Sunday night. I've got loads to do. So I can just park up here, jump in, but it's freed up pole position for Dicker Dum Dum, uh, because I'm going to be taking Dicker Dum Dum to the yard tomorrow for my yard day. And Mustard and I, oh, look at the view down there. That's nice, isn't it? Mustard and I are planning a video feature where we put, um, two Rover 45 saloons up against each other. My 45 V6 Connoisseur and his uh, 45 L Series Diesel, which has got some super special go faster chip on it to make it into a absolute hooligan. and welcome to Sunday afternoon at Windy Bottom. Now, I did this on a live stream, but I haven't done it on a video. And I just want to show you something that I am very excited about using. Um, as you may know, I plan to do some overnight Monday stroke Tuesday road trips um, this spring, summer and autumn. Uh, and that is going to involve staying in a hotel. And I always struggle when it comes to staying in a hotel with food because my lifestyle means that I eat my main meal very late at night and have done since I was in my mid-twenties when I became a professional vocalist and started living the, uh, in inverted commas, rock and roll lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> which means that, uh, well, actually before then, because I was in pubs before then, so you're not finishing work until midnight or whenever. Then as a singist, you're not getting home until four o'clock in the morning uh, and now working in hospitality. So I'm used to eating my main meal at a time when you lot are tucked up in bed. And that is not easy in a hotel room. I also hate eating crap food. Um, and if you've ever ordered room service in a British hotel, you know it's going to be crap. This could be my saviour, the answer to my dreams. And it was a lovely birthday present of the wonderful Neil and Sophie. So thank you both very much for that. And this is what we've got. Have a look at this. Now, this is a food container, but also a food warmer. So, cutlery goes in there. And basically, you put food in there, you plug it in to either a car socket or uh, whatever it is in this country, 240 volt. Um, wall socket thingy in your hotel room um, and you probably turn it on somewhere oh yeah there so you plug it in uh, plug it in there turn it on using that switch there and Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt 
and over the space of 20 or 30 minutes it will warm your food up so um, I'm thinking this could be an admirable solution to my hotel eating situation type thing so I could take staff curry rice with me pop it in there warm it up I could even get a Chinese takeaway earlier on when they're open and have the uh, facility to actually warm it up at about two in the clock uh, about two o'clock in the morning which is when I'm going to be one to be eating it so I'm really really excited about this now last year on road trips collection road trips with Captain Mustard when we were driving you know six seven eight hour round trips to pick up a car then for our lunch I was using this a food flask and it was very good um, but I think this could take it to a whole new level so I really can't wait to use this and thank you once again to uh, the lovely Neil and Sophie for your thoughtfulness in buying it for me you knew that um, you knew that I was after one you know that I'm normally skinned <laughs> and uh, yeah fantastic so really really excited about that and obviously over the space of this year as well there will be more Land Rover lunches where I put all of the gear into the all of the cooking outside gear into the Land Rover go out and cook somewhere in the middle of nowhere and Ram the chef from the restaurant is going to be involved in those as well so we are going to be going to some um, interesting and slightly exotic places and Ram is going to cook some amazing um, Nepali food so there we go I just thought I'd show you that and tell you how much I'm looking forward to um, to the trips the, I'm planning the first one to be the first Monday in March because as far as I'm concerned St David's Day March the 1st marks the beginning of spring and <clears throat> I've got another idea for where to go. I mean, what's on my list? Um, we've got, obviously, back to North Wales, uh, South Wales, going home, Worcestershire, where I was brought up, go around some memories. But Richard Hammond gave me a really good idea, Western Supermare. That was my seaside when I was a kid. And he was talking about it because it was his too. And apparently there's a fabulous hotel there. Um, frequented mostly by the over 90s and it's a right old step back in time and I've googled that and I quite fancy it it's the Grand Atlantic so there we go just thought I'd show you that have a quick chat about what's coming up um, later on this year and I'm going to get on with making some lunch Slowly, 
so I can get a still of this. If, it was a, if there was room, I would have stopped and actually taken a, a photograph there. Absolutely gorgeous today. I don't recognise that car. Or do I? Bloody hell. What a night that was. It's been an arse backwards weekend. Friday was dead. Worst Friday I can ever remember. Saturday was, okay, quite busy. Okay for a Saturday. Tonight was insane. Insane. Well, in last week's by-election. Dear me. Would be wrong. Right, let's get our asses home, shall we? If the Conservative Party starts playing footsie with the Reform Party, it won't stand a prayer of the next. <coughs> That's all coming up after the news. Excuse Great me. This evening by Tom Sanders. The World Health Organization says the biggest hospital in southern Gaza is no longer working after it was raided by Israeli troops on Thursday. The source said some of the remaining patients at the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis have died because of shortages of power and oxygen. All right. Talking Western Here we go. capitals of moving towards establishing a Palestinian state as part of a possible end to the conflict have been rejected by Israel's government. That is about it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Looking forward to tomorrow. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> this cough is the last lingering thing of the leg that I've had. And it's a, a really tight chested cough. I'm not sleeping through the night at the moment. Because you, um, you know that thing that you tend to get after a cold or after a flu. And you wake up because you chest is all tight and full of mucus and oh god it's bloody horrible but yard day tomorrow darlings joe and john will be there and uh mustard and i are gonna be doing some rover 45 filming so many thanks for watching much love to you all see you next time but you and indeed bosh <laughs>